Today, we're gonna to be installing an interior upholstery kit on a 1968 Chevy Nova. This is an aftermarket kit. We are lucky enough to have a supply, well, we have a bunch of suppliers locally that we could just send our customers to or run over and grab parts for. We're gonna tear these seats apart and get them done. Okay, so this one here, you can see, we have all the parts there. I'm gonna lay them all out so that we can see what we have. <clears throat> Cushion, backrest, cushion, backrest, tear. Mm -hmm. We have seat size. Okay, so we got backrest, cushion, another cushion. And another backrest. And then, try the back seat here. Okay, here we go. 68 Nova. And then, backrest and cushion. Let's go take a look and make sure they're right. Okay, so everything looks like it's gonna fit. I put them up against the seats and they look very close. At first glance, this seat looks very good. This is the back seat, backrest. The metal doesn't seem to be rusted. Obviously some mice were in there and obviously it's been reupholstered because they didn't come from the factory with a alligator print material on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna start taking off the hog rings. So all I do is I just grab it and twist pop it off. I don't snip it. If you snip it, you get these little sharp pieces of metal that are all over the place. They could fall into the seat. And then if you put it on a table, it could fall onto the table. And then when you put your seat on there, it could scratch the material or rip the material. So you want to make sure that you, um, you know, you don't snip it and put it on there. I take the whole thing off. I'll put them in my hand and then I make sure they go right into the garbage. So one of the other reasons why you want to wear gloves when you're tearing apart seats, it's not just because of the rust, but a lot of the cars have super sharp metal, especially the newer cars. If you're working on a new car seat, it's sheet metal and it's so sharp and jagged. When you stick your hand in to release a headrest or pull some clips off, you'll slice yourself up almost every time. So the gloves are good. Sometimes they get stuck in there. Also, um, whenever there's rat stuff, you should probably, or my, my stuff, you should probably wear a respirator. They say that some mice feces will actually, um, the dust could actually make you severely ill. You always be really, really careful around that. So I got all the hog rings off. Now I'm gonna take the seat cover and we'll see what we got going on underneath there. So I always choose to take all the hog rings off. Some people cut things off with a razor blade to make it go a lot faster. Some people will leave the stuff underneath it. I don't do that. I always cut it off. And I'll save all of the original material till we're done with the job. By taking it off, you can see how it was and wasn't tampered with already. You'd be able to you know, see how the factory was to go by that. And then obviously we always take pictures of everything as we're going. This is normally burlap. Someone actually went in here and repaired it. It probably had mouse stuff on it. Um, they got rid of it. Okay, so no more alligator print. That's going in the garbage. Now you can see here, a lot of people forget to put this on. This kind of sets the height for the back of the seat. So there's actually a piece of separate burlap that goes from here to here, and it kind of crunches down with the seat. So now by taking it off the proper way, it shows you where you actually hog ring to, so you can see what the factory specs were. So now we know you hog ring to the top, you hog ring to in here. A lot of people will get confused and they'll take the burlap and they'll run it all the way behind here and hog ring in there. But if you're going for a factory look and you want to do that, you know, this is a good seat frame. By all means, the, you can see some surface rust and dirt, but a lot of them are really, really severely rusted. We have multiple options you could do. You could rewrap it just like it is and not do anything. We will scuff it down and, and blow some of the loose stuff off with a blow gun. Some people don't want to spend the extra money. You could have it, we could sandblast it. So if it was really bad, I sandblast it. This one here, I would just throw some acid on it, scuff it down, neutralize it, and then paint it. So you have options. Some people will choose to you know, acid etch it and not paint it. Some people want to just paint over so it doesn't get any worse. But the proper way to do it would be to, um, on a bad one, sandblast it. On one that's not so bad, we would, like I said, we would actually put acid on it, get all the rust off it. It would turn black, scuff that off, and then neutralize that, and then paint it. I like to use like a rust inhibiting 
epoxy. You don't have to use like something that's really good for UV rays or something like a, like a car paint or something because it's never gonna see any light. But if you have a good um, epoxy based paint or zinc chromite or something that actually is gonna, zinc chromite, zinc chromate, that will actually etch into the metal, these seats will look perfect in 100 years from now, which is right, the right way to do it. So also at this stage, I'll go around and look and you'll look and see if there's any spring damage. You know, this, this seat actually is in very good shape, so it's not a good example to show damage, but sometimes we'll have to go around and we'll repair the rings. Sometimes the spot welds will actually break, so you have to repair those, but this one's actually pretty good. This here is the rear cushion for the 68 Nova. As you can see, there actually um, have been a lot of little critters living in here. There's foam that's been taken out and stuffed and all over the place. Let's see what's underneath here. off it and actually you can see original burlap and everything still on there but we're gonna take it all down once it's gone you don't have to worry about any smells or anything that's there a rat goes to the bathroom at one time and the car's gonna stink forever this here is the rear seat and it's all stripped down I just wanted to show because it's you rarely get a seat in this good a condition in the Northeast so this thing is very very clean Okay, here's one of the front seats. It actually looks like it's in pretty good shape, so we're gonna start tearing this apart. Okay, so let's pull this off. So if anybody's looking for any green trim for a Nova, I think we got some here. This, this one's turning black. Here. Pull the bottom of the seat off the backrest here. Strip. Okay. Very good shape. Look at the shape of these things. This is impressive. So one thing I do is I label every bracket, even though they're the same on these seats, I like to make sure that everything goes back in the exact same place so there's never a question. If anybody else has to put the seat together, they know where it is. I'll just put like driver's side, top, bottom, and you pull it off. This is gonna go. I just keep everything together. Keep all this in the back plastic piece with all the hardware. Holding the rear panel on. Again, very rarely do we get seats in this good condition. Pull the side brackets. One of the reasons I always label everything too is um, the hardware doesn't get mixed up. A lot of times these seats are very similar. So you want to make sure the same person gets the correct hardware. So what's amazing with this is, this is the original hardware for these seats. And I wanna show you something. This is, look how clean that is. I mean, it's still coated. It's, normally it's not, it's all rusty and just gross. I mean, there's obviously a little bit of rust on here. The bracket here actually holds the plastic side piece in and then you hog ring this in to hold your side of your seat cushion on it. It also holds the backrest on, which we're gonna be pulling this off. So, you see. so now you can see that's off. Those brackets are off. Or as I'm pulling this apart, you can see they had padded this up. This pads the bolsters up. One thing I always tell people, whenever you buy a kit, you should always buy the foam from the same manufacturer that you got your kit from, because even though they're supposed to be exactly off the factory, I found a lot of times that if you buy one specific interior kit, and someone else's foam, a lot of times they're kind of baggy, then you're resorted to overstuffing it and doing stuff like, well, kind of like this. But, so this is overstuffed here. Yeah. One more back here. Okay, garbage. Placing this foam. 
hopefully they got it in stock. So here is more hog rings. Okay. Ready? We're gonna look at this together. I didn't look yet. Oh, look at here. Well, we do have some mess going on here. I think once we pull out this stuff, see why they did what they did. I think maybe what they're trying to do is reinforce it. Obviously there's new springs in here. So we removed a lot of hog rings. You can tell this went on pneumatically because no one's gonna spend that much time on So that's good. Now, we're gonna take out some random metal. Metal. Get this out. More metal. You can see the springs on this one are destroyed. So we'll have the video where we dismantle them. These ones were like really butchered up. Actually, this one still has a metal piece that has to come out of here. See, someone had kind of already been in here and tried to repair it in their own way. So we got all that stuff out.